Hello, hello, Storm. This is Jacques. Hi, Mr. Jacques. Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. Uh, I wouldn't say nice, but... You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. Really? I'm kind of late for that. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it, Storm? Your name was one of the, one of the ones chosen to attend. You'll get to, you'll get to go study and experience the great outdoors off to the east, in the land of Kitakami. It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one, getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this kind of chance isn't likely to come again. You should really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. Well, oh, thanks for telling me all that stuff and not giving me a chance to actually respond. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet, everyone. It has been quite some time. Um... The DLC has been out for a while, and I, you know, didn't get it <coughs> at first. Where's my team right now? I've, I actually haven't played this in a while. Okay, um... This is good enough. So the DLC <coughs> can, consists of two parts. Taking a kind of vacation. Yes, the teal mask. And, um, going to another school. I'm actually just starting this up for the first time, so I have no clue. Well, the, the teal mask is obviously that, that's the first DLC, so that's what, what, what we're going to be doing first. Wait a minute. There we go. Ugh. You know, I meant to get Violet. Because I think I mentioned it before, I hate Coridon. I mean, I don't hate it, but like, Miraidon is a fucking futuristic motorcycle. Like, how cool is that? Mr. Shock said the student, uh, the students for the school trip will be around here. Well, I'm a student for the school trip. I'm here. She's nice. Hmm. Are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was Storm. Storm, huh? Well, aren't you full of fire? You're positively dazzling. Oh, you even have a Terra Orb. Yes, it's the gimmick of Gen 9. I guess Paldia is a rich in ethnic resources for that sort of thing to, become, to be a common sight at school. Ah, yeah. Unless that's not the case. Are you perhaps an, ex an, es an especially exceptional student? Well, yes, but I mean, that's still common here. Oh, but here I go on and on. I haven't even introduced myself. Uh, call me... <clears throat> Miss Briar! I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, Storm. What a lucky little scamp you are, getting to take part in a school trip so, so, so soon after transferring here. Soon, quote unquote. Sure, I'm happy for you. I wish I could go too. Ahem. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar. I got a bit carried away. Well. As Mr. Shock so kindly stated for me, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. Yes, that's what it's called. That's the other school. Blueberry Academy. <clears throat> that's what is it the Unifer region? Really? I did not know, actually. <clears throat> Miss Briar helps set the curriculum there. Well, how come I never heard of this Blueberry Academy? Hmm? I played the Gen 5 games. I didn't hear about this at all. Is it new, Miss Briar? Was it just set up recently? Like right after I left that region? This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our, our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We're heading to, K to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's testrial, ph Paldea's testrial phenomenon has been detected there. Oh, has it? Oh, has it really? You know, to keep the gimmick going? Okay. 
I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself, in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, yes. Well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Oh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon. We'll see. However, you know, it's a video game, so of course she's gonna, they're going to say yes. Ah, uh, well... Hmm. Oh, sorry, Storm. Forgot all about you for a moment there. Anyway, the school trip. I think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldea's borders. Well, I've done that already. I've done that eight times, actually. I'll even provide you actually, actually nine times if you count the Ore region as well. You know, the Colosseum and Gale of Darkness. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex app. If you'd get out your phone. Uh, sure. I forgot I had the black case. Okay, keep to come in Pokedex. More Pokemon to catch. And there we go. All done. Now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon you find around Kitakami, too. Oh, and don't worry about a permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things with your mom. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> you just go and have fun. Briar is just... shapely, I'm noticing. Haha. <laughs> your Mr. Jacques is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, Storm. It's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying. Go along bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? We can go now. The land of Kitakami. <clears throat> so I'm guessing I can't... So I guess I have to do the teal mask first. And I can't do the... um. What was it called? Like the... No, oh, guys, is this that Mewtwo? I could not fucking beat the damn thing. I, I really couldn't. I'm thinking of. Um, <clears throat> it's the Teal Mask and the Something Disc. You know, the two new legendary Pokemon that I featured. So I guess you, can, you have to do the Teal Mask first, no matter what. Even though, even though both DLC are out now, you, you have to go in order. Which I'm, I'm fine with, I guess. It's, it's fine. I, I want to see both anyway. Oh, by the way, if the sound, if the recording audio sounds a bit... That Pokemon just fucking disappeared. God, I forgot how poorly put together this game is. Anyway, so if the audio sounds a bit different... Um, I'm recording things a little differently this time around. And, uh, we'll- Oh, they're just fucking blinking out of existence. And, uh, we'll see how it goes, though. I don't know if I'll keep to, to this recording style. But we'll see how it goes. They just fucking pop in! Jesus! God damn it. I mean, I bitched him on about that a lot in my main playthrough, but I mean, it's just coming back to me. I haven't played in, in a long time. Let's go, let's go. Are you ready to set up for Kitakami Storm? Yes, I am. Great. We're set out together as a group once the other students arrive. Come on, please, Nimona. I hear you all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this might be your first, the first time you meet. I, I want fucking Nimona to be here. I know my role is to, sh is to chaperone you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun of my own while I'm at it. It's just so you're aware. Great! That's a, that's exactly what I wanted to hear, Briar. Like I said, she is shapely. Uh, by the way, do you know the Scarlet Book? Yes, right? I have it, right? Don't I? I, I read it. As you should. It was the most influential book of the century on the, su the subject of the paranormal. The author of the Scarlet Book, 
Heath was in fact an ancestor of mine. Really. I even have his original manuscript. Just came out of nowhere. Look here. These are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. Really, show me. Ah. That's interesting. So, okay, so if, if you don't remember, yeah, in the actual book, like, a lot of this was blacked out. It was so mysterious, too, so interesting. Like, like trying to figure out, like, what exactly... Like, like to, to me, I was wondering, like, is this, like, some, some sort of primordial Pokemon or something? Like, just, like, the like this image of space and this Pokemon just kind of in the middle shining, like... Some primordial Pokemon, like you know, after Arceus, but like before a lot of the other stuff. Like I don't know, it was it was, and considering like the time travel mechanics that we ran into, considering, uh, concerning rather, uh, Coridon and Miraidon and everything. Like I, I my my mind was racing, but I guess this is all for the DLC. So, so we'll see how this plays out. But yeah, so th like so this wasn't just some background lore thing that they came up with and had no plan plans on addressing later on. They they are addressing it now. That's interesting. Let's read it. A disc Pokemon? While separated from the research team in the creator's depths, I found a strange... entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. Yeah, that's the Pokemon from um, Blueberry School. Well, you know, that's concerned there. I have, I have tentatively named this creature Terrapagos. I suspect that its very body is made up, made, up, made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. Interesting. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapagos. It's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved even further into the depths of Area Zero. But it's not there now, right? I didn't see it. Not that the general public believed him. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true. I can tell you right now they were true, because I saw the trailers for the DLC. Though I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. I have, and I can tell you, I didn't see anything like that. Well, I didn't see Terrapagos itself, let me say that. But I did see a lot of those crystals and everything. But that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on the work that's in front of me. Miss Briar, we're ready to go. None of you are Nimona! Looks like the gang's all here. Oh, fuck these people. All right, everyone, to the land of Kitakami. Ah, fuck this. I'd rather stay home. Cool. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if it was a deliberate reference, but they they do say that Dragonite can fly fast enough to circle the globe in about 16 hours, which would make it fly faster than a, a plane. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Part one, the teal mask. Cool. Yeah, I saw. So there's like four new Pokemon, like one legendary. Or are they are they all legendaries actually? Well, there's one featured legendary Pokemon. Let me say that. We're finally here. My butt is killing me after all those hours sitting. First the plane, then that bus. <laughs> Whoops. Well, you all survived the long trip. We haven't lost anyone along the way. I guess not. Ugh. Can we gain someone? Can the Mona fucking be here? Then welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all the new experiences and, and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. 
I swear to God, I thought the game froze for a second. It's actually my first time here, too. Why, the rice fields are really are just dazzling. Up ahead is Mo Sweet Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Stand back. Uh oh. All that travel must have gone to your giving you a dose of motion sickness, hmm? I've actually heard that that alcohol can actually help with motions or nausea specifically. Like just smell it for a little bit, and that can actually help your nausea. That's what I've heard. I've never done it myself. Why don't we pause here for a moment and take in, in the sight of these fields? Now, Storm, I have a little request for you. Could you run ahead into the community center in, in Mossui and let the caretaker know we're here? Yeah, sure. It'd also be great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. I can do that. I knew I'd, I'd be able to count on you. On your way, then. I'll look after your poor travel buddy here. Yeah, take all the time you want. No Nimona, no Arvin. No. What's her name? Fuck, I forgot what her Penny. She, I, I forgot her. I actually forgot her name. <clears throat> this is my first time in, in another region. It even smells different here. So, this Italy is back in the Unova region. That's cool. Okay. Press the L button or R button with the, while the map is open to switch between different maps. Flying taxis will take you to any location with a feather mark, even if your destination is in another region. Okay, that's cool. I can Uber back and forth. <laughs> it's pretty big, too. That's cool. I don't go that far out. Paradise Barrens. Hmm. Wistful Fields. Loyalty Plaza. Apple Hills. Can I find an apple in here? Maybe. Oh, that's right. I think... At Wait, am I thinking of... I think that there's a new Applin form, too. In this. It's either this game or was Legends Arceus. I don't remember. Mossville Confluence. Kitakami Hall. Fellhorn Gorge. Timeless Woods. Cool. Kitakami Wild. And then this center area right here. It's, oh, what's this one? Inferno. What did that say? I can't see because of this damn thing. Okay. Well, whatever it says. Uh, Oni Mountain. I saw that earlier. I didn't say anything. Okay. But, the, okay, so... This place is very Japanese-influenced, inf it feels. Which I'm fine with. I, actually, I was actually kind of thinking that I wanted like more Japanese-inspired areas for Pokemon. I do like the fact that they... they since Gen 5, they've been basing new regions and games on other countries. That, that, that's awesome and everything. I, I love that. It gives more variety. But I did kind of think I wanted to see um, something that was Japanese influenced again. And so, but the Univer region is based on is probably based on the U.S. But this place uh, again is very Japanese, uh, Japanese influenced, inspired. Do you think he's all right? That was one bumpy bus ride. I don't know. I don't care. Ugh, my head. So this is how Psyduck must feel. Yeah. All right. Well, Spinnerack. Should I catch more Pokemon? I don't know. Yeah, cutie fly. I mean, up to this point, I was kind of just... Well, I have been catching other Pokemon, too. I don't, I don't know. It's just... Like, I have Spinarak and Cutie Fly and everything from, from the other games I played. I don't want to just... Catch more... Needlessly. I don't know. There's a trainer, I think. Will you come on? Eek! Eek what? Eek! You're one of those people from Paldea, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Festival goal, may you. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, are you sure this is the Univer region? God, that frame rate drop. Is it the Univer region's Chinatown? Or J Japantown, rather? Cool. 
cool. Uh, Chingling is psychic type. It's a quench work, I think. There we go. So this is the Paldean style of battle, huh? I guess. This is really cool, honestly. But head to the community center. All right, I just want to explore a little bit. Okay, well, let's 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 push ahead. But like seriously, is this like the Universe Region's Japanese inspired? Like is this Japan Town? Those people disappeared. Oh yeah, these two. I saw them in the trailer. Their brother and sister, I think. Sis, look! There! There's one now! I remember seeing her for the first time, and I was like, oh my god, please let that be a woman. Please let, let that be a woman. Please let it be... And I was like, yes, it is a girl! And I just kept thinking, the rule 34 is about to explode again. <laughs> so, you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Whoa, way cool. Oh no! Wait, Blueberry. No, Blueberry Academy is in the Universe region, not this place. I'm just, I'm just realizing. All right. Well, I'll look up where this place is exactly. Some um later. Harsh Kieran. 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 Mm. I'm Carmine. Oh, why is your name easy to say? Oh, she has freckles too. Oh, that's cute. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Masui Town. Want to battle? You're supposed to come again. You have to battle. Yes, exactly. C come on, sis. You just want to battle. You're making this big fuss over nothing. <laughs> Sheen and Amona should meet. I told you to, sh to hush, Kiki. Jeez. Just ignore my little brother. Oh, man. All right. Let's do this. Get in position. Real quick though, do I get a uniform like yours? Because this one sucks. If I can get that uniform, I'm changing out this one entirely. It's. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't. It wasn't not freckles. She, she has a, a beauty mark. Still, she's cute. I'm gonna have some real good fun with you. Yes, please. <clears throat> Is that a Cherish Ball? Oh, no, it's a regular Pokeball. Pokemon Trainer Carmine. Ah, oh, Poochiana. I got a back Scalibur. <clears throat> Welcome to Kitakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. I like her already. I really do. I'm not just saying that. I like her. Level 62, okay. Look at those people and just... Oh, right, I heard about this, actually. Pulse Chai Geist. Like chai tea. Or just chai, a chai tea latte, whatever. Crunch. Oh, you know my type matchups, huh? <laughs> I like her. Can she be my rival? Vulpix. Okay. Which Vulpix? Let me guess. Oh, no. Okay. Cantonian Vulpix. I honestly thought it might end up being, um... What the fuck is it called? The ice-type, um, Vulpix. 
Alolan Bolt Bol Picks. You... Who are you? <laughs> Wowzers! You went and beat my sis! Yep. And by law, she belongs to me now. I'm your new brother-in-law. I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. I... You can calm down. It's not... Fine. I guess you pass. Barely. Oh, I'm sorry. Do, do we do we watch the same battle? Were you not paying attention to how this battle played out? Seems I got no choice. I'll let you into town. But only become one of my grunts and do every little thing I... Oi! What are you doing causing ruckus out here? Here comes trouble. Make it double, right? <laughs> That's stupid. Come on, Kiki. We're out of here. B but I... Wait up, sis. I have to be your underling? Really? For what? Why, well, hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from the Paldine Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Mossery Town. And a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. Hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now. Were they? Yeah, technically yes, but it wasn't anything I couldn't handle. I hardly know, I hardly know what to do with the two of them. Especially that car mine. Always been a handful, that one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. I want to give car mine a hard time. <laughs> What's that? A member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop? Now, when did I say that? When did I ever say that, Mr. Caretaker? I better get over there and give them a hand so they can make it into town. Why? I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in at the community center. We'll catch up with you soon. Well, what? No, I want to go in the story for a second. Is she on her phone? This way, everyone. What was the point of that? What's the point of you leaving to go d and then you tell me to go? All right. Storm, I owe you one for, for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now, too. Alright, everyone. This is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together. But turns out this space is going to be all for you. Our visitors from Naranja Academy. Oh, right. Those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So in you come. Don't be shy. Or two kids, Carmine and K Kieran? Oh, do you mean someone else? I guess she means someone else. Come on, everyone, pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. Cool. If they're extra dirty, just try to rinse off the worst with the mud using the washing station by the door. Is that gonna be an actual thing I have to do? Interesting, but why? My shoes do look kind of muddy, though. Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you'd find in one of your big, fancy cities. Cool. This here is the lounge. You can watch TV, chat, or relax however you like. Cool. <laughs> Gonna look up Pornhub real quick. And, well, let's see. Over there's the cafeteria and toilets will be down that way. If you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall there. We've got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself. Cool. H-anime. 
So I think that about covers everything. But if you run into any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to talk to our fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. I like kids. Do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. What a bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell you're going to be wonderful visitors. So you just think of this place as your own home away from home and relax. You must all be tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit early still. But why don't we have dinner and then call it a night? Yeah, sure. We've got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you brought your appetites. All right. There's no Nimona. I guess Carmine will do. Thanks for dinner. Ikidakimatsu, right? You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center. But remember that tomorrow, the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late, or you might oversleep. Alright. Pokedex. Did I catch that? When I catch a Dragonite? Day of all? Oh, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, obviously I played this a little bit in between, uh, you know, uh, finishing the main playthrough and then and this. When did I catch a Dragonite though? I, I don't remember. Pull check ice. Hmm. Oh, grass and ghosts. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Wait, do I have me right on? I think my brother might have traded this to me. Maybe just for the data, though? I don't remember. A dust, ten dust balls. Oh, look at the shiny stone. All right. Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu. And uh, who else? Flapple, Applatoon. Hmm. Ah, maybe I should have just traded my Pokemon over. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I will. I, I didn't. Have, like I said before, I, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, maybe, maybe I will just transfer them all over and complete the Pokedex. Oh, 194. Okay. Well, we'll see how things go. All right. So don't crush like that. Okay. So we're here in the land of Kitakami. And we'll see what's going to be store for us next. But we'll see that. We'll see what happens some other time. So until then, I'll talk to you guys later.